Hi everyone, a very good morning to all of you. My name is Karnama and I welcome you all to another session of RBI 247, wherein we discuss finance current affairs that are going to be relevant for RBI Grade B and SEBI Grade A exam. Let's get on with today's video. The topic that we're going to talk about today is about second advanced estimates and K-shaped recovery. This is in news right now, so now we will what is K-shaped recovery. Along with that, we'll also understand what are the other kinds of recovery, other shapes of recovery. Then, as promised in the previous video, we said that we're going to write an answer. Answer writing ki practice karenge from finance current affairs. Okay, so MOSPI, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, MOSPI, has brought out second advanced estimates for quarter three of this financial year, 2022, financial year ending 23, 22 to 23. So quarter three, December Ka jo quarter hai, quarter 3 ka data has been brought out by Mosby and the recovery, the growth this time is expected to be 4.4%. Why is this in news? Because in previous quarter, the growth was 6.3%. So the government is now answerable ki ye growth in this quarter, why is it expected to be low? What are the reasons for the growth to be, uh, that the growth this time is low in this quarter? It is 4.4%. However, in last quarter, it was 6.3% in quarter 2. And if you see, in previous quarter, in quarter 1 of this financial year, it was 13.5%. So, this growth is why has Why is the graph of growth falling from 13.5% to 6.3% and now 4.4%. The reason for this is that first this growth percentage is compared with the data of previous year and the same quarter. So it is year on year data. It is year on year data. And if you remember last year, if you compare this data with last year's data, you will know, aapko yaad hoga, ki last time there was a pandemic. So there was a global pandemic and the base, the recovery, the growth at that time was falling. Because the growth was falling, the base was low. The base for this year was low. Jiski wajah se, the growth of this year is expected to be high. Abhi tak 6.3 ho rahi thi and 13.5. Why? Because of low base, which is also known as favorable base. So last year, there was a pandemic. Because of the pandemic, the growth rate was very low in the previous year. And that is why, it, because of low base, because of this favorable base, is bari jitni bhi recovery hai, wo bohat zada lagegi. That is why 13.5%. However, if you see in quarter three of last year, the growth was improving. The growth in this time during quarter three was improving. That's why the favorable low base tha. Ab, now it is fading away. That is one of the reasons for 4% growth because of fading away of uh, growth, fading away of the base effect, fading away of the base effect. Okay. Second reason is inflation in the month of November, December, October, it was very high. Inflation from the month of October to December was very high. This key just say, if you remember, monetary policy tightening stance was formed, was followed by the RBI. RBI was following hawkish monetary policy or, uh, you know, accommodative monetary policy stance. This key just say, interest rates were rising, repo rates were rising. So to control inflation, to control the demand, the main objective of RBI was to control demand. So when demand slow down karni hai RBI, ko, how can we expect the growth to be high? Because of falling demand, because of inflation, growth kam hui hai. This is the second reason. Then the third reason given is manufacturing sector mein contraction dekhne ko mili hai. There is a contraction in the manufacturing sector. Okay. Now we have studied second advance estimates mein 4.4% hua hai and this was uh, falling from 6.3% in the previous quarter. Up, what is this K-shaped recovery? This K-shaped recovery, when you map the growth on a graph, the shape that the growth curve takes, the shape that the growth curve takes, the GDP growth curve, the shape that it takes is given, is called K-shaped recovery. So K-shaped ki growth ho rahi hai in the GDP. The curve is in the shape of K. What does this K-shaped recovery or the K-shaped curve represent? So this represents that one sector of the economy is growing, whereas other sector is not growing. So this means sector may divide ho gaya hai. One sector is growing, the other is not growing. For example, so this concept was first brought out, this K-shaped recovery concept was brought out after COVID. 
सो किसी भी रिसेशन के बाद इट इज ऑब्जर्व आफ्टर एनी रिसेशन दैट वन सेक्टर मे बी ग्रोइंग एंड द अदर सेक्टर इज डेफिनेटली कॉन्ट्रेक्टिंग सो पोस्ट रिसेशन पीरियड में जब ग्रोथ होती है आफ्टर द पोस्ट रिसेशन के बाद जब धीरे धीरे ग्रोथ होती है पोस्ट रिसेशन वेन ग्रोथ टेक्स प्लेस इट इज सीन इट इज ऑब्जर्व दैट ग्रोथ इन वन सेक्टर इंक्रीजेस वेर एज द ग्रोथ इन एन अदर सेक्टर फॉल्स दैट इज ए के शेप रिकवरी तो जो ग्रोथ कर्व है इट इज इन द शेप ऑफ के there is divergence in the growth of two sectors so k shape recovery is a post recession scenario in which one section of the economy begins to recover while another segment continues to struggle it is often observed ki k shape ki recovery hoti hai after any recession okay now other type of economic recovery is b hoti hai the first one we are going to talk about is v shaped ab v shaped mein kya hota hai because of any shock in the economy there is a fall there is a fall in growth growth kam ho rahi hai but either this fall is temporary or because of steps taken by the government suddenly growth increase ho jati hai after reaching a lowest point this can be the shock can be reversed by uh, many measures to agar ek temporary shock economy mein aaya hai this can lead to a sudden fall and a sudden rise so v shaped recovery it is a rapid and sudden improvement in an economy that follows a rapid and severe fall this usually happens following a one one time shock or a temporary shock in the economy to so, agar kisi economy mein ek quarter mein fall aayi hai ya ek year mein fall aayi hai and after reaching the lowest point it increases rapidly the same way it decreased that means it will create the curve will create a shape of a v that means it is a v shaped recovery okay is one of the reasons कि सेकेंड टाइम पे ये रैपिड ग्रोथ अचानक से कैसे हो जाती है इज बिकॉज ऑफ फेवरेबल बेस इफ यू लुक अगर ये ही बेस है जो कि फॉल हो रहा था इफ द बेस द कर्व वॉज फॉलोइंग द ग्रोथ वॉज फॉलोइंग देन इट इज अ फेवरेबल बेस बिकॉज ऑफ लो बेस जो भी रिकवरी होगी इट विल सीम एज हाई द रिकवरी विल सीम हाई दैट मीन्स इट इज अ वी शेप्ड कप अगर सडन फॉल के बाद after reaching a lowest point the growth increases suddenly rapidly it is a v shaped curve similarly a u shaped curve there is a, a difference in the v shaped curve and a u shaped curve so u shaped curve mein kya hota hai the low phase the low phase remains for certain amount of time which means the economy takes a little time to recover or to grow again so the you know the growth falls then it reaches the lowest and stays at the lowest for a little amount of time and then grows which means the economy is taking a little amount of time to grow back okay to pull back so the economic damage from u shaped recovery lasts for a longer amount of time the damage the low period is for a little amount longer amount of time than the v shaped curve in v shaped curve it was sudden the recovery was sudden however in u shape the economy takes a little more time to recover so the economy recovers but the harm at the bottom persist for some time ab l shaped curve l shaped curve mein kya hota hai once the economy falls it stays at the bottom or even if it recovers it is it will never reach the high phase to kya hota hai once the economy is falling once the growth is falling the lowest part becomes the base the lowest part becomes the base and thus even if the economy is recovering it is never reaching its highest part it is never reaching its highest part that is why it is an l shaped curve either the economy will be stagnant it will not rise that means there will be no growth it will not recover ya to stagnant rahegi or even if the economy is rising then the rise will not be as much as the fall or the high the economy was once in theek hai to bahut sari economies mein if you see even if they were high at a you know at a very recovering at a very high pace or growing the uh, gdp was growing and once they fall down they are never able to recover to that phase which they once were because of any external shock in the economy wo hoti hai l shaped recovery or l shaped curve so it is the most gloomy scenario as an l shaped recovery in this form the economy rebounds to some extent from a sharp dip but the growth never returns to the pre crisis level the growth never returns to the pre crisis level this means it can reach a economic stagnation theek hai so uh, next one is a w shaped curve this curve is very common see economy mein ek dip aata hai then you see a small or a temporary rise so when there is a dip in the growth the growth is falling then after measures taken by the government 
or after recovery or after the reasons that were uh, leading to fall in uh, the growth or fall in the GDP. After the end of those reasons, there is a short term recovery or short term growth. This can also be because of favorable base. Because base kam tha, uski wajah se bhi we could, it could seem that a little growth uh, led to a high growth or it seemed like double digit uh, growth ho rahi hai. Why? Because the base was either negative ya phir bohat zada kam tha. So because of negative base, negative growth rate or falling growth of the economy, a sudden recovery takes place which is temporary. So a sudden recovery which is temporary but this recovery will not last and the economy will see another fall. The economy will see another fall and finally the economy will grow. This shape of curve, this curve forms a shape of W. That is why it is W shaped recovery. So in this situation in which the economy experiences a rapid collapse which is followed by a small and temporary recovery and then another decline. Ye bohat common hota hai bohat economies mein even after COVID-19 if you remember 2019-20 ke baad there was a negative dip the, uh, the growth in the economy it was negative but however it was expected ki 9% growth hogi after the COVID period in 2021-22 the growth was expected to be 9% which was expected to be 7% afterwards so 9% se kam hoke 7% hogi but then it was expected ki uske baad grow karegi okay now what did the CEA say what did the CEA say what did the CEA say the chief economic advisor he was the news he talked to the finance ministry what did he say he said that it is not right to say that this curve is k-shaped curve or the recovery is k-shaped recovery why because when you say it is a k-shaped recovery you are saying that one sector is growing however the other sector is contracting when you're saying that it is a k-shaped recovery you mean that one sector is growing and the other sector is not growing it is contracting this is not the case as per the chief economic advisor, the chief economic advisor was in news and he said that there is a growth in both rural and urban economies. There is a growth in both rural and urban economies, but the growth might be in different paces. Dono grow kar rahe hai. It is not that the rural economy is collapsing or contracting. The demand is there in the rural economy as well, but it is not as much as urban consumption or urban demand. So urban consumption zyada honi ki wajah se, urban demand zyada honi ki wajah se, there is more growth in the urban sector. However, the growth in the rural sector is also there, but it is not as much as the urban sector. So it is not that the rural sector is contracting, it is also increasing. The growth is still there, but it is not at the same pace of urban. That is why it is wrong to say that it is a K-shaped recovery. Okay. Uh, the K-shaped recovery was in news and it can be asked in your exam. Okay, like promised in the previous video, we will answer writing ki practice. Karenge. The question for today is, what is NPCI and what are the major products brought out by NPCI? So if you remember, last year, there was a descriptive answer on long-term repo operations in finance. And there is a high chance that long-term repo operations in finance static mein nahi padhe honge because this was brought out during COVID by the RBI. So RBI brought out this special repo operations during COVID to you know, recover the economy or to inject liquidity in the economy so growth maintain rahe, high inflation na ho, uh, there is enough liquidity in the economy. So that is why in 2020, 2021, RBI brought out special repo operations, one of which was long-term repo operations and it was in uh, the question, the descriptive answer writing question of 2022 exam in RBI. So we can say that this current affairs ka question tha. That is why it is important that current ke bhi finance ke current affairs ke bhi kuch questions aap karke jayen. This is an important question. Why? Because NPCI is always in news. There is uh, every uh, you know every second week there is a payment mechanism that is brought out. Kabi Bharat bill payment system ki wajah se ya kabi UPI cross border UPI linkage ki wajah se. NPCI is always in news. So, NPCI is a very important arm working under RBI, working for the payment and settlement system. This is very important. Hai. That is why we are doing this question. Is ki se you will also be able to know what are the major products brought out by NPCI. Okay. So, first of all, what you have to do is, you can pause the video and think of an answer that you can write for this. Otherwise, let's write it together. So, let's break the question in two parts. The first one is, what is NPCI? So, abhi, hume jitna bhi NPCI ke baare mein pata hai, we will write it down. Then the second talks about, the second part of the question talks about what are the major products brought out by NPCI among, in these years. 
ओके सो अब एन पी सी आई वी ऑल नो कि क्या है इट वर्क टूवर्ड्स पेमेंट एंड सेटलमेंट सिस्टम आरबीआई ब्रॉट आउट एन पी सी आई बहुत बार ही पढ़ा चुकी हूँ मैं आर बी आई ब्रॉट आउट एन पी सी आई अलॉन्ग विद आई बी ए अंडर द पेमेंट एंड सेटलमेंट सिस्टम एक्ट टू थाउजेंड सेवन इन टू थाउजेंड एट एन पी सी आई वॉज ब्रॉट आउट अंडर द पेमेंट एंड सेटलमेंट सिस्टम एक्ट बाई आर बी आई अलॉन्ग विद इंडियन बैंक एसोसिएशन ठीक है इट इज अ सेक्शन एट कंपनी अगर आपको इसके प्रमोटर्स के बारे में पता है यू कैन आल्सो राइट दैट सो इनिशियली देवर टेन सेंट्रल बैंक दैट वर वर्किंग एज प्रमोटर्स फॉर एग्जांपल एसबीआई पीएनबी दे वर वर्किंग एज प्रमोटर्स ऑफ द एनपीसीआई देन व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ एनपीसीआई टू इट विल वर्क टुवर्ड्स पेमेंट एंड सेटलमेंट मैकेनिज्म एंड ड्रिंग इनोवेशंस यूजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी पेमेंट एंड सेटलमेंट मैकेनिज्म को इनोवेट करेगा दैट वाज द फंक्शन ऑफ एनपीसीआई अब हमें जितना एनपीसीआई के बारे में पता था वील थिंक अबाउट इट इन वन मिनट एंड देन वी विल राइट अब इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि आप उस क्वेश्चन को अटेम्प्ट करें बिकॉज देर इज अ चांस दैट दी अदर क्वेश्चन यू माइट नॉट नो एनीथिंग एंड अगर आपको थोड़ा सा भी पता है किसी क्वेश्चन के बारे में एंड यू थिंक दैट यू आर एबल टू राइट दी आंसर और टाइप दी आंसर यू कैन डू इट ऐसे में सोचेगा कि कुछ और कर लेते हैं जिसके बारे में कुछ भी नहीं पता और वी कैन लीव इट नो इट्स इट्स बेटर टू अटेम्प्ट द क्वेश्चन इफ इवन इफ यू नो लिटिल बिट ऑफ अबाउट दैट ओके तो एन के बारे में बेसिक्स हम लिखेंगे वी ऑल नो तीन पार्ट्स में क्वेश्चन को लिखना होता है द फर्स्ट इज इंट्रो introduction then you will write body and then conclusion so since this question is in two parts since this question is in two part we can cover the first part in introduction in introduction we can talk about npci what is npci uh, national payment corporation of india is a section 8 company which and which is working which was brought under the payment and settlement system act of 2007 along with the rbi which along with iba why to promote the payment and settlement system mechanism in india so that innovations can be brought out in india and it is a section 8 company ye bhi hum likh denge agar promoters ke bare mein kuch pata hai we can also write otherwise bahut zyada bada introduction nahi likhna theek hai try to write the introduction 100 words if it's a 400 word ka answer 400 word ke answer mein 100 word ka introduction aap likh sakte hain so in the introduction we wrote everything about npci now in the body we can write about major products brought out by npci what are the major products that we can remember we can recall us time pe aap jitne recall kar sakte hain sabse pehle note it down and then start writing one or two lines about each and every product now there are a lot of products it is impossible to write about a lot of products so some of the products ya major products pucha hai to aap major products ke bare mein batayenge the first that i can think of is upi obviously unified payment interface then bhim ठीक है भारत इंटरफेस मनी टेक्नोलॉजी भीम एप थी थ्रू विच यूपीआई ट्रांजैक्शन कैन टेक प्लेस देन आई एम पी एस ओके देन भारत बिल पेमेंट सिस्टम दैट इज फॉर बिल पेमेंट्स देन आई कैन रिकॉल एन ई टी सी नेशनल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक टोल कलेक्शन मैकेनिज्म देन आई कैन रिमेंबर अबाउट एन ए सी एच नेशनल क्लियरिंग हाउस ठीक है so this was for clearing house national automated clearing house nach what else upi then we can also write about upi 1 2 3 if we remember and upi light that was for offline ye important hai aap upi ke under bhi likh sakte hain or write it as a separate product this was for offline mechanism offline payment mechanism p2m p2p offline transactions kar sakte hain upi light humne recently hi padha hai initially in phase 1 it was only for debit transaction then it was also in phase 2 it was rolled out for credit transactions also iske ilawa cts check truncation system then uh, network for atm i think it's nfs okay atm ka jo network hai and what else check truncation system ho gaya how many we've done 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay bahut sare ho gaye if you can remember all these then good nahi to jitne aapko yaad ho sakte hain us time pe you can write this now one by one once you have mapped it uh, in your brain ki kon kon se aapne karne hain or you can write it down in the rough sheet then you will start answering sabse pehle bharat bill payment system it is uh, for you know a one stop destination one stop platform wherein all bills pay, uh, payment can be made by the user and uh, yes itna hi mujhe pata hai iske bare mein what i can recall at this moment jaldi jaldi answer likhna hota hai so just write one line about this then imps this is for immediate payment system 247 payment mechanism hai uh, yes 247 365 days payment mechanism immediate payment inter bank transactions ho sakti hain isme then upi unified payment interface 
या इससे पहले भीम के बारे में लिख सकते हैं भीम सो इट इज एन एप यूजिंग विच यूपीआई ट्रांजेक्शन कैन टेक प्लेस गवर्नमेंट की एप थी देन यूपीआई यूनिफाइड पेमेंट इंटरफेस Here you can also write about UPI one two three and UPI Lite. So UPI is a unified payment interface wherein you can make real time inter bank transactions from your mobile app using uh, somebody's mobile number or virtual payment ID or even a QR code. So QR code ki through bhi aap uh, payment kar sakte hain using UPI. Then NETC, electronic toll collection mechanism. This is for toll collection technology was used to collect toll. then check truncation system so earlier micr was used me i am just you know recalling everything that i can remember about all these things check truncation system initially micr mapping was used for uh, transferring checks from one bank to another after which imaging system was jisme physical uh, check ki involvement nahi thi or to transfer checks physically was not involved images of, of checks uh, of important details of checks can be used therefore check truncation system so under this images of inf uh, information of checks is used uh, unlike in micr wherein physical transfer of checks was used then nach that is for clearing house so national automated clearing house i think that is the full form of this wherein uh, you know high volume transactions can take place high volume inter bank uh, payments can be made for example when a company pays dividend or pension or insurance to large number of users so high volume regular payments can be made through nach you can also write about aeps aadhar enabled payment system which is used by the government for you know payments made through schemes so direct benefit transfer ke liye aadhar enabled payment system is used by the government bhim aadhar enabled payment system is also used by the government so itna mujhe abhi tak yaad tha then comes conclusion ye body ho gayi then we will write conclusion in conclusion we can write um, about what npci has done the importance of npci or that in future npci can work in you know artificial intelligence it can work with machine learning ya fir internet of things mein kaam karegi or up until now npci has worked towards promotion of payment and settlement mechanism and uh, brought in a lot of innovative steps for example cross border upi पे नाउ लिंकेज कुछ भी आप लिख सकते हैं इन कंक्लूजन सो बढ़िया सा सुंदर सा कंक्लूजन लिख सकते हैं आप इसमें सो अस्टैम्पल आंसर हैज बीन गिवन फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू एंड आई आल्सो टॉक यू कि क्वेश्चन का आंसर लिखना कैसे है इंट्रो बॉडी कंक्लूजन में डिवाइड कैसे करना है विद वॉट एवर नॉलेज यू हैव ऑन दैट सब्जेक्ट सो इन इंट्रोडक्शन वी डॉ वी रोट इनिशियली अबाउट आर बी का इंपॉर्टेंट फंक्शन है पेमेंट एंड सेटलमेंट सिस्टम अंडर दिस सो टू इंश्योर स्मूथ फंक्शनिंग ऑफ दिस फंक्शन अगर आप आर के फंक्शन लिख देते हैं the exam checker is very impressed rbi ka function likh dijiye write about uh, you know yes the function of rbi preamble of rbi so inke bare mein agar aap likhte hain the exam checker will be very impressed so we wrote about the function of rbi jiske liye rbi brought out npci as a section 8 company along with iba under this act in aapko pura bhi likh sakte hain or you can also write pss act so why it was brought for operation of retail payment system uh in india okay what are the various products brought out by npci over the years the first one is bharat bill payment system ek line mein define kar diya then imps ek line mein define kar diya uh nsh national automated clearing house national electronic toll collection bheem bharat interface for money it is an app using which upi payments can be made or collection of money can be done cts check truncation system upi and then conclusion conclusion thoda aap bada bhi likh sakte hain i just wrote that npci ne kitna major role play kara hai and how they have used technology for efficient and greater efficiency achieving greater efficiency in operations okay so this is the conclusion try to write a bigger conclusion okay 400 words agar nahi bhi hote hain just try to write a very good answer do not focus a lot on words this is our app if you haven't yet downloaded you should okay The first question for today is which of the following recovery curves are described below it is a post recession scenario in which one section of the economy begins to recover while another segment continues to struggle so two sectors of the economy ki baat hoti rahi hai wherein one growth grows and the other contracts so you will tell me the answer of this kaun sa curve shape ki baat ho rahi hai very easy okay which of the following statement is are true about various economic recovery curves in a u shaped recovery curve the economy recovers but the harm 
at the bottom persist for some time this is correct in an l shaped curve the economy rebounds to some extent from a sharp dip but growth never returns to pre existing levels for years if at all this is correct l shaped so pre existing levels tak growth nahi ho pati hai even if growth is there it is very low in a k shaped curve the economy experiences a rapid collapse followed by a small and temporary recovery and then another decline this is a w shaped curve small and temporary recovery hoti hai after which another decline takes place it is a w shaped curve not a k shaped curve okay which of the following products of npc is described below it is a web based solution to facilitate inter bank high volume electronic transactions which are repetitive and periodic in nature this system can be used for making bulk transactions towards distribution of subsidies dividends interest etc bahut easy hai abhi padha hai why have added this question is because last year last to last year in 2021 yes in 2021 phase 2 mein there was a question about national electronic toll collection fast tag fast tag pe ek question aaya hua tha in 2021 phase 2 Okay, these are the answers for the questions. One question from previous videos. The previous lecture से एक question I told you. अब हम revision करने वाले हैं. So अगर आपसे ये question solve होता है, that means your revision is going well. You are preparing well for your exams. And unfortunately, if you uh, you know you are unable to answer the question, that means you have to watch the video again. या फिर दोबारा पढ़ाई करनी है. Revision थोड़ी slow है. Then you can revise again. So which of the following? Financial instruments do not form part of trading book of banks. Instruments resulting from market 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 making activities, trading related to repo style transactions, unlisted equities and equity investment in subsidiaries or associates, securities with real estate as underlying assets. You will answer this question in the comment section. अगर नहीं हुआ, then February की एक video है. I think it was in day ten that we did this video about. uh you know i think it was yes guidelines for minimum uh, risk requirement for market risk yes minimum capital requirement for market risk that was the video wherein this was taught trading book and banking book ke bare mein so if you are unable to solve it please wo video dekhi and then solve it revision aapki aise hi hogi okay this was it for today thanks for watching i hope aapki preparations bahut achhi chal rahi hain for the upcoming rbi exam thank you